guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over my sinking fund update for August as well as an in-depth look at my debt tracker and it is an exciting amount so I definitely recommend for you guys to stay and watch and I will also update my debt um, free chart that I use to track my debt. Okay, so getting into my sinking funds. Um, giving, I haven't really been putting aside. That is not for charities. It's more so for contributions. If I had a fundraiser with the girls I used to babysit or if there was Girl Scout, um, things like that. But I didn't put any aside. I didn't spend any. So I did end up with $10, still my sinking fund. Um, for my gift fund, I had a beginning balance of $24.83. I put $50 in and then I spent $52.39. I'm also filming this at night, so I am sorry for the shadows. With my schedules at work right now, it's been harder to film during the day and so I don't want to not upload just because of the fact there may be shadows so i hope you guys don't mind that um, for the ending balance of my gift fund i have a balance of fifteen dollars and four cents for christmas i had original balance of 525 dollars i put 87 dollars and 50 cents i didn't take anything out and so my new balance is six hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents for vacation of course i didn't put anything in there i didn't take anything out and i still have a balance of zero for car registration i had a beginning balance of 151 dollars and 45 cents i put in 30 dollars and 29 cents i didn't take anything out and so my new balance is one hundred and eighty one dollars and seventy four cents for hair i had eighty dollars i was planning to add 280 but i decided to go ahead and reduce that to 200 dollars because i knew i wasn't going to be seeing her and i kind of wanted to put more towards debt so i just put 200 dollars towards that i didn't take anything out yet of course because i didn't see my hairstylist and so I currently have $280 left over. Taxes I don't include because that's for my income. Um, my emergency fund, I originally had $1,000.05. I received five cents in interest. I didn't take anything out. And so my ending balance is $1,000.10. So that's awesome. Now moving on to my debt tracker. So here's my debt tracker. I just have two debts left. I have my student loans, which had a beginning balance of $4,318.71 with a minimum payment of $106.39. Now with COVID, it has been on deferment with no payments expected from me. But of course, because there's no interest, I've been trying to take advantage of that. And I actually just got a notification that that was extended until the end of the year. So I'm really excited and I see no reason why I shouldn't have it paid off by the end of the year. Um, so that's awesome. I'm really happy that I'm not having to pay more in interest because that is a killer in the progress for my debt payoff. Um, and then my other debt is my car lease. Um, it was at $6,286.50 for the loan. Uh, my minimum payment is $349.25 and because it's a lease, there's no interest that is charged. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and change these, or at least my student loan to the actual payment that I made. And that was $1,676.81. So huge update, huge payoff amount, which is awesome. That brought my ending balance to $2,641.84. And 
and 90 cents. So this is actually only one loan. So I had four smaller loans that comprised of this bigger balance. And now I paid off officially the third loan. So I only have one more loan left. And then for my car loan, it is at $5,937.25. So that's not going to be going down. Of course, I'm not going to be paying more just because it's a lease. All right, let's go ahead and add these up really quick. So we have $4,318.71 plus $6,286.50. So my total debt at the beginning of August was $10,605.21. I paid a total of... $2,026.06 for debt, none in interest, and so my end balance is $8,579.15. All right, so let's do the exciting part and color in my debt-free chart. Okay, so I already put a little marker to indicate where I should stop tracking or coloring in. Um, so that way I can save a little bit of time for you guys. Now I'm just going to use my Tombow markers. Um, these are my favorite to color in. Um, you can kind of see the numbers for each of them here. And I'm just going to color these in and I will be speeding this up so I'm not wasting too much of your time. All right guys, so I just finished coloring it in. I'm so excited to be past 50% and so close to 75%. I'm excited to see what the month of September will look like. I do know that I'm not gonna be able to make as much progress just because I'm no longer receiving unemployment and therefore my payments are definitely gonna be a lot smaller. But it's just a reminder that patience is key 
any payment is progress and to not get discouraged if you're not able to pay off as much as you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. Let me know in the comments how your debt payoff looked like for the month of August. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already so that way you can see my September update. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.